In this episode, we're gonna talk about the 10 highest paid YouTube stars, at least according to Forbes. They make the money. They're making big, big money, these 10. I can't believe it either. I think some of this is even other understated because the, how could Forbes possibly come up with these numbers, even if they're calling the influencers out? Are they really gonna share their real numbers? I mean, case in point, Forbes on this list of 10 has two number nines, two number sevens, two number fives. It's like, can't they get more definitive than that? Carry the one at a zero. Yeah, I don't know how they did that right. This is Forbes, right? I write for Forbes. <laughs> Jeez, come on guys, you can't get it right. All right, let's just start counting down. Let me even start with number 10. They start with a tie for number nine. So the first one is Colleen Ballinger at five million. She's a comedian. She's pretty funny, but she's made a, you know, got a huge following on YouTube and obviously is monetizing it if she's making $5 million a year. The other number nine is Rhett and Link. You've seen Rhett and Link. I once yep. spent my entire day watching their videos. I had never seen them before. So with my family, I put it up on the screen and I watched them try things, gross stuff. These two are funny. They take nerd humor to a whole new level. Yeah. They're, they're really good at that. And some of their stuff misses, but more often than not, they, they hit it right on the uh, proverbial head, if you will. I saw one of their branded videos when they were actually on a track. I can't remember which uh, auto, auto company it was, but they were on a track. That was hilarious. I mean, a great job that branded video. I agree. All right, number seven. I can't even pronounce this guy's name. German Garmendia. Uh, <laughs> you think he was teased a little bit as a child with that name? Well, you know, he's not American. <laughs> he's Chilean, so probably uh, it's probably sexy where uh, you know where he's from. Okay. Well, he makes five point five million dollars a year. That's pretty sexy, I think. Now we're getting into the real money. All right. The other number seven is Mark Plyer. Uh, I forgot what his real name is. Uh, you could see it here in the uh, in the image here he makes 5.5 million he's a video gamer and i suspect forbes has missed a lot of these video gamers because i know of a few that are making five million dollars a year well and that's where you know we're going to not to foreshadow things but we're going to certainly see another one uh you know on this list and, and that's where uh, there's such huge community of passionate fans and they follow and and that's why the gaming community has reached out and really sponsored a lot of these folks because the ROI is, is most certainly there. I have a confession to make. I once teased my friend out of becoming one of these video game reviewers and now he looks at me as like, you, I could have been a millionaire had you just shut up that one day. I mean, I just cannot believe still to this day people are watching and my son does. Now I'm starting to, I get it, okay? I get it, I'm sorry. That's I one demerit you. for Mark. <laughs> That's one big demerit. Yeah. Okay, I think his wife thanked me though. Yeah. Uh, let's go to number five, Tyler Oakley. He's a big LGBT activist. He makes six million dollars a year on YouTube and other places. He's written a book um, by being a community activist. Not a bad payday. No, not only that, but he's earned that money. You know, it, it's hard to put a dollar figure on, but the, the difference he has made in the lives of young kids and yeah, millennials for sure. who are having a hard time coming out, who, who are facing you know obstacles. He's really done a, a fantastic job of, of being normal and, and showing you know positives. And he hosted the, you know the whole episode on Ellen and uh, you know just just tip my cap to him because he's done a great job for the community and a great activist and speaker. I think he's even been signed to one of Ellen DeGeneres' uh, show networks. Yep, that's and, true. Yeah, so I, I think he's doing quite well. Let's go to the other number five, Rosanna Pansano Pansino, yep. and uh, she has a geeks baking show and she makes six million dollars a year baking for geeks, is that true? She also makes great cupcakes. She's <laughs> a lot of fun. She take, this is where one of those things where the gaming combines with another passion, a lot of nerd stuff, a lot of geek stuff, but it, it works. And she's done some great cakes, some cupcakes, some cookies, all, all these things that she shows you how to bake while speaking the language of, of gamer and nerd. And so uh, she's it's, pretty unique and, and, and very funny. Okay. Let's go to number four, Smosh. These are comedians Anthony Padilla and Ian Hecox, or Hecox, seven million dollars a year for being comedians. Well, see, and this is where it starts to get a little, you know, questionable on this because these guys aren't so much just stars as this is a television network done on YouTube. I mean, they have a writing staff, they have a wardrobe staff, they have makeup, That's you know, true. people. This is a television show or television sketch show. Uh, that's where, you know, give them credit for making all the money. 
but it, it feels a little disingenuous to say, oh, these two guys are you know, doing it on their own. This is a, basically a union production. Well, why, weren't, why aren't they on TV if they have such a big community? Or do they feel they were going to make more money on YouTube and they have more control of their own destiny? They, they certainly have full ownership of everything you know, when, when they're doing it on YouTube. And uh, you know, with the television background, I can tell you, the minute you sign with somebody, you lose full yeah, control. That's a great point. All right, let's go to number three, Lily Singh. She's a rapper, comedian, dancer. I guess she thought if she combined all three, she'd make a lot of money. And she was right. 7.5 million a year. I mean, she's funny and she's unique and she, she does comedy that you're just not seeing everywhere else. There's a lot of similarities. She does her own thing and it's, it's definitely uh, making an impact. Okay, number two, Roman Atwood. He does a lot of pranks and stunts. I kind of love these slapstick videos and, and what he's doing. He makes $8 million a year. And he films really every part of his life. I mean, he isn't just putting together pranks and, and whatever, and some of his pranks are hysterical. But they'll go to the store and he takes the camera with them. They're in the car, he's showing off his kid in the back seat. You know, he knocks up his girlfriend and, and they put that video up. That one just came up in the last week. It's like, hey, I'm showing my baby bump. And it's like, well, you are really going to show your entire life. And then on the side, also do some insane pranks. So uh, a very, very devoted following and, and he's nailed his niche. He is the Truman Show meets yeah. Chevy Chase, I yeah, think. He really <laughs> he's is. just. Uh, but he makes a lot of money doing it, and there's a lot of people now emulating what they do, and they're making a lot of money. We've hired a lot yep. of people that have done pranks and stunts because it's effective and it works. Well, and, and it's, it's not only effective and it works, it's popular, and it's relatable in as much as you want to see people doing it, but you're certainly not going to do that yourself. No, I wouldn't. Not half the stuff. Not 90% of the stuff yeah. they do. My God. All right. Number one on the list, drum roll. <laughs> PewDiePie at 15 million. Not really a surprise for those that follow what we do and what other people do. He makes 15 million dollars a year doing funny little things with video games. Uh, look, he, he became the biggest name on YouTube by just playing video games and talking about them, being a goofball and being just so, put, basically putting himself into the game. I, I know this is gonna sound crazy as a marketer. This is the one I don't understand more than any other. Right? You look at the list, there's, there's talent, there's uh, creativity, there's whatever. This is the one I, I just have never understood him from minute one. And while I congratulate him on the giant, you know, Major League Baseball-like payday, I still don't get it. I don't get it either, but it's nice. You know, we're probably not the target yeah. audience again. $15 million, this guy's a super rock star. It's $15 million this year, it's gonna be 30 next year. Yeah. I mean, the way this guy's going. Okay, so that's it, the top 10. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We do a lot of these types of videos and other types of videos around influencer marketing, web TV, and just marketing in general. And let us know who you think is gonna be on the list for 2017. My vote's for Justin Simon. I think I better crack that top 10. I'll even stick at number 9.5 with 5 million to be happy I think about. if you crack the top 100, you'd be pretty happy. We'll be doing dancing. Yeah. We'll be dancing right. in the office. Thank you, marketers.